Now, I'm going to go back to that last wonderful document that I composed, which was labeled actually document four, with all these wonderful thoughts. And let's say I want to save that. Well, where am I going to save it in my computer? This is one of the most misunderstood things by new computer users in the whole computer world. You have to decide where to save something. Now you may decide where to save that and accidentally put it somewhere that you don't want it. You need to think through where you want to save it. Here I'm going to click File and there are when I get the whole file menu, which is what you get when you uh, click that thing at the bottom, see, that, see this little double arrow down here? That opens up the whole file menu. There are two kinds of saves. There's save and save as. When you first save something, you should select save as. And when you do that, it gives you the same kind of window as you had in the open window, and only it says save in. Now, if I save this right now with this name, which is the first thing that's in the document, that word automatically takes the first word or two or three words in the document, probably the first line, and picks that as the name of the document. But if I just click Save right now, it's going to be saved in that hierarchy that where I found the other document. It's going to be saved in My Documents, Documents Often Used, Teaching Packages, Beginners O2N. This is not, I don't want to save this in something which is a folder representing what I was doing in November of 2002. I want to save that either in a different folder in Teaching Packages. Uh, let's see, is there one in here that's a, appropriate? Stock presentation at Rancho Bernardo Library? No, I don't think so. Well, maybe I need to make a new folder. Maybe I need to make a folder in Teaching Packages that's entitled um, uh, August Presentation 2009. To do that, I have to put a new folder in under the folder Teaching Packages. And to do that, I come down here and I click on this icon, which has a little label that right down here, I hope you can see it in this presentation, called Create New Folder. You will see it on your own computer if it's not going to be reproduced in this recording. So when I create new folder, it, get, it asks me what I want to call it. And I'm going to call it um, August, August, well, it'd be a good idea if I could type August 2009 presentation at SCG. OK. I'm going to click OK. And now, when I pick a name for this, this is going to be sample document, sample word document. And I save it. Now it is saved there. Now if I went back to, if I closed it up here, which you can do, you can close the actual document by the X under the, under the X at the top. So now I can click that and we have left just the, the, the old thing that was in from November of 02. Now if I go to File and I click Open, it will start me off at the new place, Documents Often Used, Teaching Packages, August 2009 presentation at SCG. And I can click on that and click Open while that is selected. And once again, we get this marvelous document that I just uh, composed for my next presentation. Now let's talk a little bit about the Edit drop-down menu. When you click the Edit drop-down menu and you see the whole thing, you'll see that Cut, Copy, and Paste are three of the things that are used most often in the Edit menu. They are used to 
copy things from one place to another on a document or to move things from one place to another on a document. When you cut something from one place and then paste it to another, if you were doing this with scissors on this document, you'd be moving it. So that's why it's called cut and paste. And the way you do it is like this. Supposing I want to copy this line down here. Well, I highlight that line by pushing down my left button on my mouse and dragging it all the way across and then letting go. And I click Edit, Copy. Then I take my cursor and I put it, I have to use the Enter key to drop it down here. And then it, when the Edit key is down here, I click Edit and then Paste. And when I do, that line is copied down here. Now, supposing that that was a mistake, well, I can edit it and undo the paste. It remembers the last thing you did and allows you to undo it. Ah, I undid it and it's gone. Supposing I decided that instead of copying it down there, I wanted to move it down there, then I would highlight it the same way, click Edit, click Cut, and then put the cursor where I want it to be pasted and click Paste. And now it has been moved. Now let's talk about Copy, Cut, and Paste as it applies to files and folders instead of words or phrases. Supposing we want to move a whole document or copy a whole document that is somewhere in our computer and we've decided it should be somewhere else, either in addition to where it is now or instead of where it is now. Well, to do that, we have to get into my documents as we did before. You could go back to that help and support menu and come up to the place where I showed you where you can cl click my documents or you could on my computer come down to the quick start menu which is here at the, the lower left and click on this little icon which is a picture of a folder with a magnifying glass in front of it. That is Windows Explorer or my documents. Now you remember we saved that wonderful outline of my next presentation in Documents Often Used and under that it was in Teaching Packages and under that we saved it in August 2009 presentation at Senior Computer Group. And when we get down to that folder we actually find a Microsoft Word document of 24 kilobytes saved August 5th, 2009 at 3.33 p.m., which is just about 20 minutes ago, named Sample Word Document. Now, supposing that I decide that I want to have that a whole copy of that document somewhere else in my computer, and I do. The reason I do is because this whole presentation is being recorded on a program called Camtasia. And I keep all the things pertaining to a particular presentation that is recorded in Camtasia in a Camtasia folder, which has in it folders for each Camtasia presentation. I'll show you where that is in a minute. But what I'm going to do right now is select that document you see it's totally highlighted like the words were or the phrases were on the individual document that we wanted to copy. But now I'm highlighting the whole document and I'm going to click Edit, Copy. Now I'm going to go find that Camtasia folder. I happen to know where it is because my uh, computer is pretty well organized. There's the Camtasia Studio folder with a plus sign on it. It has lots of folders in it. The one that I am using for this particular presentation is called Basics. 
and there are all the little piece recordings of what you have been listening to <laughs> for these 30 minutes and I am now going to and also there's a there is that um, word document an introduction which is what you were looking at as an outline of this presentation well I'm now going to paste that entire document that is in um, uh, down in teaching packages I'm now going to paste that here in this basics folder and I'm going to do that by clicking by right clicking on this on this highlighted folder and I can either right click on it and then click paste or I can select it go up here to edit and then click paste or I can go and type control and then type the V key that tells you what you can do that also makes it paste but I'm going to just click paste and there you see sample word document created today which is the 5th of August at 3.33 p.m. and there is now a copy of that up here in this Camtasia Studio folder for this presentation and it is still down in teaching packages August 2009 see it's still there that's a brief overview of three of the most you two of the most used and a third which should be most used in my opinion of the drop-down menus in almost any program in Windows I hope this has been helpful to you and I'll be happy to take questions.